What's up guys? Today we are heading to Flushing Queens where we are going to Sweet Cat's Cafe, a dessert cafe with claw machines, Tesso Life, a Japanese convenience store with everything you can think of under the sun, and delicious cheap Chinese food. Before we begin, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell for all the latest updates on New York City. So let's head out. So we are at Sweet Cat's Cafe, and no, it is not a cat cafe, but it is an awesome dessert spot where they have a ton of claw machines where you can win cool plushies. Let's head in and check it out. So it is 50 cents a token, and most machines are between two and six tokens. So one to three dollars for each claw machine. So we are stocking up on our tokens and getting ready to play. Even though I have no footage of us winning stuff, we won four plushies, so it is definitely possible to win things here. Claw Machine Fun doesn't stop downstairs with more options to win prizes. There are also places to sit and enjoy your dessert. I have my dessert here and I chose the Oreo Milk Crepe Cake. And it looks and tastes so delicious. Okay, let's head back upstairs and try to win more plushies. So we're done winning prizes, so let's head to the Japanese convenience store Tesso Life. So we are in the J Beauty section of the store right now. There are so many options to choose from, especially these Pokemon and Kirby sheet masks. So cute. Now let's head to my favorite part, the snacks.
came out to only 17.38, which is definitely on the cheaper end for import snacks. Now that we're finished at Tesla Life, let's head to dinner. We are headed to 39 Kings Cafe. While I wouldn't say it's anything super special, it is extremely cheap and affordable and perfect for anybody on a budget. So I forgot to video everything, but I did get scallion pancakes and these shrimp balls that you see here. They were pretty good and I have the seafood fried rice that was a lot and I ended up taking a lot of it home. So all in all, it's a solid good value choice. So now that we're done with dinner, let's take a walk around. There are so many places that I want to try around here. Let me know in the comments any recommendations that you have. And if you take a Queensbound 7 train, you'll end up here at the last stop, Main Street Flushing. Now we're taking a quick walk through the New World Mall where there is a J-Mart, a bunch of shops in the shopping center, and a huge food court with a bunch of options. So we have done everything we wanted to do and everything we wanted to see, so it's time to head back. plushies we got at Sweet Cats. This is the bag they actually give you when you win plushies. It's a string pack, so you can put it on while you walk around. So I won Chris a Pikachu, but Chris won me a Hello Kitty, and I won myself this Dino Dog, and we've got Cal. I would definitely rate these plushies like a solid four out of five. I think they're a little better quality than the plushies that you would get at a fair. I really like how they had Pikachu and Hello Kitty, some familiar faces, that was nice. So now I'm gonna go through the things I got at Tesso Life. First of all, I did get one of these Mew Pokemon masks, but it's really, really cute. And you can see in the back, uh, that's what your face looks like <laughs> when you put it on. So I'm excited to try it. I bought these snacks, which I've tried before. I really like them. They're really delicious. Uh, they're really good if you like rice crackers and you like seafood. And let me taste test them. So on the back, they say that they're Okonomi Snack Casein Assortment Wheat Crackers, which I believe just means an assortment of seafood crackers. Yeah, I could just eat these all day. They're pretty dangerous. And then I bought a couple that I've never had before. I just wanna try a bunch of different stuff. These are shrimp crackers, Let's try them. Again, they're good for people that like rice crackers, good for people that like seafood and shrimpy things. Recommend, I like them. They are very garlicky and it makes sense because there's not only a shrimp, but there's also a garlic. And if you don't speak the language, don't be afraid by going in to the store because there is English of the calories, the nutritional facts and the ingredients. So you will know what you're buying. Mm. And then I bought these Crab King, which are definitely crab potato chippy snacks. So let's give these a try. <laughs> They're really, really cute. They're like little crabs. That's so adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Mm. These are really good. <laughs> Again, for people that like shellfish, these are definitely for you. These are kind of like puffier, crabby cheese doodles, but they're way better. I'm not a huge cheese doodle fan. What I really like about these kind of crackers is that they don't have too much flavor dust on them, like Cheetos or Doritos or those kind of American snacks. Just because they're less dense and have less flavor dust, I always think that they're a little healthier, but I'm not sure. Weigh in the comments. Do you think that these snacks are healthier than American snacks? And last but not least, I know we saw a bunch of Pocky, but I got these, the mushroom ones that are kind of like Pocky. Pocky. They're very similar. I actually prefer these to Pocky because I think the breadstick is a little tastier on the bottom and the chocolate is just a thicker thing. So even though they're smaller and more bite size, I think they're a little tastier. Also, this is just the cutest thing in the world. He is teaching you what's inside the mushroom. It's adorable. So let's open them up and try it. 
What I love also about these is that it opens up like a little lunchbox that has this little picture like, oh, you're gonna hold the mushroom. Uh, they also come in little like pine cones as well, but I haven't tried those, only the mushrooms. So I opened it up and I've got a mushroom. So this is what it looks like. So you can see the breadstick is, I feel like more of a breadstick to me, I don't know. And the chocolate on the top is just like a perfect amount of chocolate for me. So that is the conclusion to my taste testing and unboxing of the snacks that I got at the Japanese convenience store Tesso Life. Let me know if there are any Japanese or other Asian snacks that you really like to eat in the comments and I'll give them a try. And of course, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for all my latest updates on my next videos, which are coming out every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Bye.